Hey everyone, Nick from Practically Tactical and my son Jackson. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so we made a post earlier on Facebook because this this came up in a comment today on YouTube and it comes up on our, uh, you know, anytime we talk about medical or, you know, our medical EDC or we do medical shows or podcasts. Uh, but this keeps coming up that, hey, you guys better have rats in your, you know, so like, you know, I have videos up on my daily EDC carry. Um, but we need to have rats tourniquets because other tourniquets don't work on kids. Um, whether a rats is a tourniquet or not or viable option, that is another video. Um, however, to say that other tourniquets do not work on children is absolutely false. Um, check for a link down below. There's a post on this on our Facebook page as well. But um, there was actually a study done on American hospitals uh, overseas uh, during wartime with tourniquets applied to children. Uh, the study was done on the cat tourniquet because that's what our military uses. And it had a 93% success rate and they actually attributed the 7% failure due to lack of training on the person that was ap uh, applying the tourniquet. But anyway, so hey, let's, as, as we talk about on our show and podcast of like, hey, do you... Can, can, you know, do you have the right to that opinion? So I'm having my son volunteer for this, right, Jackson? Mm -hmm. So uh, this is my son, Jackson. He is six years old. Um, there were some uh, issues with uh, his birth, so he's a little bit smaller. So he's about the size of, of a typical four-year-old, but you're, you're strong. You're super strong, though, right? <laughs> show your muscles. <laughs> um, but so uh, I just kind of want to show his arm here. So I'm kind of, I'm basically putting, if I clamp all the way around it there, um, as hard as I can, my fingers touch. So I, I don't know what size that is, but that's pretty small. Um, so what I want to do is we'll take a cat tourniquet here that one of the two tourniquets that I carry uh, in my EDC, and we're going to see if this could work or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on, and then Jackson, if it starts to hurt, you tell me and I'll stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So, I have a feeling since you're super ticklish that you're probably gonna laugh when I when I put this on. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna put this on. Okay. Also, here's another great tip. You can set up your tourniquets for success. You're gonna make me laugh by you laughing. You take it uh, and you can pre-wrap this out so it just comes down and on. All right. So we're gonna go high and tight on this, right? So we're gonna go up high. Right here, we're gonna go high and tight on this, right? So we're gonna come down, and I'm gonna get the Velcro attached. So then we can have it here. Optimally, I would have this turned a little bit, but so here's what we're gonna do. So here's where it actually starts to turn is right here. So we're gonna see if we can how many turns we can get, if any at all, before it starts to hurt. Because then we know, well, if it's hurting, that means we're starting to apply pressure, so we can probably get to the point of occlusion. All right. So here we go. So you tell me when it starts to hurt, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> hurt. The hurts right there. Yeah. How like bad? Yeah. Does this hurt more? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we'll take it back there. Okay. <laughs> so let's do let's do this one more time because I don't want people to think it's camera tricks. You got little marks right there, huh? Mm -hmm. Little owie. So let's try to do this here. Let's try to make it up. Sure, we get up all high and tight, as tight as we can, all the way up here. Okay, we're gonna take it, we're gonna tighten this down. Ow. Oh, all right. So here's where we're starting pressure, okay? So you tell me when it starts to hurt, okay? Okay. Hurts. This hurts right there? Yeah. So we're getting, let's make sure we do this again here. Hurts more. That hurts more, okay. So we're getting a half a turn before there's at least pain uh, does it feel like it's really tight? Is it like crushing your arm? No. Is it pinching it? Kind of. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's On the bottom. Yeah, down here? Is yeah. It, is, it, is it going like this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's... Pin it's on the bottom of yeah, my Yeah, because it's taking it and it goes like this. It crushes it in case you have an owie and we have to stop the blood. So yeah. it goes like that, huh? Does it feel like this when, it, when, I, when I go like this? Yeah, yeah. kind of. And this. So... And it pinched me in yeah, here. It'll, it'll pinch too. Mm. So, here's what a tourniquet can go all the way down to. Pre. Okay, is that as small as my arm? Yeah, I mean, try to put your arm through there. 
Here, let me open it up a little bit. I've seen it. Okay, I know that, but because I let go here. So, so now, so let's take this all the way down. We're gonna take it all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Okay, now try to put your arm through it. Try to put your arm through it. Push, 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 push. Okay, that's as far as I can go. Oh, show show everybody. So push, push more, push more though. So if that's as far as thickness we can get to on uh, my son, and there's studies that prove it, it's okay to carry a, ta a cat tourniquet for your kids. So do you like the fact that daddy carries medical in case somebody gets an owie? Yeah. Yeah, and we could save them, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Well, thank you, Jackson, for being my volunteer. That's very nice of you. Mm. Can you say goodbye to everybody? Bye-bye. All right. So here it is, guys. Again, um, I'm not sure why with medical, but there's there's a lot of misinformation kind of again with, with guns. So get out, seek training. Uh, we actually have a tourniquet video up with my brother who's a, um, a paramedic or something like that. Anyways, there's there's been a lot of military studies done on tourniquets, and so there's a lot of information out there. Make educated, critical thinking decisions on what you carry and why you carry what you carry instead of just regurgitating stuff out there. Of We need a rat's tourniquet for kids because nothing else works. So is your arm okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Right there? What about right here? Is that okay right there? Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, there you guys. This is Nick from Practically Tactical, and what's your name again? Jackson. Oh, I, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'll try not to forget. Uh, thank you for watching, and we will catch you guys later.